Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy. It is May 4th and it is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you for those Star Wars fans out there. It is the second week of us studying the Great Depression. And man, the Great Depression in two weeks, that is quite a feat. But together, we can do this. So this week, you are going to be reading four articles on Newzella. The first one is talking about how once he was elected, the new president, Franklin Roosevelt, or also FDR, uh, once he got into office, started identifying the problems that the country was facing and how he started to calm the fears of the nation. The second article is taking a look at some of the programs that he and Congress started to put in place. And those, pro those programs together in a bundle are called the New Deal. And you're taking a look at were those programs effective or not. The third article is taking a look at Social Security. It started to um, take effect in 1936 and you're taking a look at what it was. It includes programs like welfare, like unemployment, um, food stamps, those kinds of things all fall under the umbrella of Social Security. So you're taking a look at the program. Uh, and then finally, you're looking at another program of the New Deal called the WPA. And uh, did that help solve uh, some of the issues and was it effective? So those are the four articles that you're going to read. Now, like usual, what I would like you to do is be thinking in the backs of your minds while you're reading this. How might these issues be connecting to today? Now, there are some of the obvious, like all of the people who are out of work. Um, but then be thinking of maybe some of the smaller things too. How are some of the people um, reacting to the, the people who are out of work? Meaning, um, how are people helping? So some of the questions that I have for you once you read these articles are, do you think that the New Deal was effective? in helping solve the issues of the Great Depression. The second question, and here's where I, what I said just a little bit ago comes into play. So what actions have the government and private citizens taken to help people in need? So you can look at both the Great Depression and today. And then the third question is, what are at least two to three connections that you can draw between the 1930s and today. And what I would like you to do is use evidence from both the articles that you read and what you're seeing in your own life. And of course, I'm going to attach a few videos to Google Classroom as well to help you out. And you can go out on the internet and take a look at anything you can find as well. Per usual, I miss shaking your hands at the door. I miss seeing you in my classroom. I miss our time together. But there's always a beginning. There's always a middle. And there's always an end. And like one of my favorite Buddhist sayings goes, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I will see you next week. You can always contact me if you have any questions. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.